<laughs> hey guys, Deathbringer here. We're on Fallout 4, the walkthrough, and today is the day we are going into the Institute. I managed to get myself the uh, sensor module I needed. Blah. Excuse me, I've just eaten. Ah. How would I know that was going to be a problem? Come on. There we go. And now I just need generators everywhere. Wait, what do you need? You need five. You only need one of these. I can't fucking tell. You need 20, so you need four of these. One. Come on, come on, come. Two. Three. Four. And you only need two as well, so. Boom. Ta-da! Quick seven. Status report. We got activity, Des. Not sure how long before it peaks. The Institute is a huge unknown. Before we can make any plans, you need to do something. What I'm about to tell you is the most closely guarded secret the railroad has. It's time you learn about Patriot. I like the name. Sounds encouraging. There's a man, or woman, we're not sure, inside the Institute, who helps since escape to freedom. Dozens of synths owe him their lives. We don't know his name. We've never had a way to contact him. So we gave him the code name, Patriot. If your plan works, and you're able to get inside the Institute, we need you to make contact. Okay. I'll do my best. Tom's encrypted a message for Patriot's eyes only. Once he sees it, he'll contact you. Until you make contact, and probably after, you need to stay in their good graces. You need to infiltrate them. Can you do that? Can you be our agent on the inside? Bring it on. You can do this. I believe in you. Stand on the platform and I'll give you the holotape. Just plug it into any Institute terminal and wait for the reply. Tom, talk to me. Booting up the scan seat. This frequency is only going to work once. You know who doesn't make the same mistake twice. So stand still. We gotta lock in all those molecules of yours. Hopefully we won't miss any. There's only, you know, 60 trillion of them. All right, feeding our baby some juice. Let's see what she's got. Take this holotape. You need it to contact Patriot. Oh, man! Uh, don't worry! That, that's all part of the plan! Tom, do whatever you can to gain their trust. Lie! Tell them what they want to hear. Make up a cover story and sell it. Come on! I think I got it! Establishing lock on the Institute signal! Just get all the information you can. About synths. About the Institute's plans. Find their weaknesses. If we can disable or destroy the Institute, we may have to do it. You jack that holotape into any terminal and Patriot will make contact. He has to. Got the R up! We got it! Find a way to save them. Nobody else can. Now! They fucked up this part ever so slightly. They, the voices were out of sync. And we are in the Institute! the molecular level. Oh shit. Okay.
Network scanner. Okay, now we've got the boring part of listening to uh, the leader of the Institute. Hello. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. Busted. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please. Step into the elevator. But what if I could fucking open it? Instant turn analyzed. I can only imagine what you've heard. What you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific very personal reason. You are here for your son. Sean! Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Sean? Oh my god. It's really... It's really you. Who are you? Sean, it's, it's me. I'm your mom. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Sean, Daddy's... Daddy's gone, but... But I'm here. Mommy's here now. What's going on? Father? Father! Shh! It, it'll be okay, Sean. Mommy's here now. I don't know you. Go away! Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Please, Sean. I'm your mother. To talk to me. Just open the door. Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. I could kill you. Right here. Right. Now. Yes. Yes, you could. And I would be powerless to stop you. Just want to say something. I have killed him at this point. I completely, like, moved away from dialogue. Or I fucking my revolver and just blew his head off. I've, I think I've done that twice. <laughs> I did that on my Minuteman character. Like, not my first one, my second one. I think I tried keeping everybody alive. I hope you're not too overwhelmed. Shut up! Dad... 
All we're missing are the teacups and the white rabbit. Ah, levity. Excellent. A sure sign that you adapt quickly to stressful environment. But I need you to realize. Yeah, that, that happens a lot. Every time I talk to him, situation something skips is on him. Far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far See? and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. I am your son. How is that even possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant. But a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality. And here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. It wasn't... It wasn't right, what they did. Taking you from me like that. To you, that would certainly seem true. But to the Institute, it made all the sense in the world. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you? In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. Sean. It's really you. It really is. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an Institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. He was a murderer. He killed your father. Believe me, I am well aware of the atrocities Kellogg committed. I suspect there are many more we'll never know of. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. 
It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? Your father. He never got to see you grow up. Yes. What happened to him was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems what happened to him was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret. And asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? So, you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future, no matter what those above ground might think of us. They need your help, Sean. It's rough up there, to say the least. Oh, we've tried that. Surprised? The Institute once tried to help create a stabilized Commonwealth government. It ended in bickering, infighting. It was a disaster. No. We look after our own now. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. I know there's more for us to discuss, but... The Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Yes. That's what I want. I know. I know you've been through so much. I'm pleased to see it has not impaired your judgment. Forgive me. I'd assume that after everything I'm sure you've seen above ground, you would be more than a bit biased against us. There is much to be done. You'll need time to acclimate yourself, a chance to become acquainted with our procedures. I'll do whatever it takes. It's worth it. I am glad to hear that. The Institute is now your home, as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the Division Heads. Dr. Fillmore in Facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in Bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in Advanced Systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. Okay, so we are in the Institute. That was a long conversation with Father. Sorry, John. Um, so... It's an honor to have you here, ma'am. So, we have now got to talk to people... We have now got to talk to people, and that will happen in the next episode. We will, in the next episode, we will explore the institute as much as I can access right now. I will talk to the division heads as well, and I will go through every bit of information they can give me in the next episode so you can get a feel of the institute i somewhat believe that the institute is good in one single aspect they could potentially i don't want the folder uh i 
they could potentially actually help everyone if they weren't so stuck up. I wish we had the option of helping the Commonwealth once we take over the Institute, but no, that's not going to happen. But obviously everybody knows what this place is. And you've already seen all of it. But I'm going to explore it for the people who don't know. And I am... I, ooh, I really like the... Um, I really like the Institute of how the style of things are. But even I know that the Institute is basically evil. I just wish I could change what they do and how they do it. But that's a conversation for a whole different day. Thank you for watching. Make sure you comment, like, and hit that subscribe button. I have been Deathbringer and I will see you for the next one. Cheerio and goodbye.